we know after pandemic, everybody, almost all of, all of us working from home and how it is possible when you are working from home, you are uh, logging into your office network and getting a remote desktop. And if you are a developer, you are um, all, almost all your development work you are doing on that machine. And if you are a normal user, uh, not heavy user, you have been assigned a uh, desktop which will for doing your day-to-day -day office work. Or maybe they have provided you a laptop um, for doing your work. But if you have not, uh, but after that also sometimes uh, they, for the security reasons, um, you have to connect to a virtual machine or a virtual desktop uh, to do your work so that you don't uh, have any data stored locally. So uh, that enabled you uh, to work from your home. And that that is where almost um, everybody, almost all worked during pandemic. And after the pandemic, some of you are already either in uh, complete remote or hybrid mode today. So, but I'm sure uh, this working from home culture will never go quickly but it may increase also because that uh, gives the corporations the efficiency, the um, time they need. And uh, I have seen the um, efficiency of the uh, workers or other developers has increased because they always are near to their family doing their uh, own stuff. So at the same time, they are um, they're working. So that means they are at peace, they are at the easy uh, without the corporate uh, pressure so the efficiency has increased that's my feel my take uh, and so lately i was thinking to record a video um, that how to create this virtual desktop uh, vmware has um, a software called um, vmware horizon uh, I worked for VMware uh, way back in 2009, but uh, that time it was, uh, before that also, I was a, a solution architect for Sun VDI infrastructure, Sun VDI. We had a VDI, uh, if you know Sunray, uh, that also, I, I was the solution architect for that. And after that, when I joined VMware, I also did some solution for, that time it used to call it VMware View and uh, later they changed that to VMware Horizon. Uh, so I thought to create a video uh, to show you how VMware Horizon works. And uh, now it is VMware, uh, that is the release version is 8, so Horizon 8. So I'm going to record uh, a video on how to deploy VMware Horizon 8 um, in your environment if you have um, if you want to learn or if you want to really um, deploy that in production, I hope this video will help you. And uh, uh, I'm going to, I have a um, home, <coughs> small VMware environment in my home, and uh, I'm going to deploy the complete environment uh, in that server. This is a single uh, server. Uh, I have um, uh, it is a 128 gig RAM with uh, six core processor and uh, almost one terabyte disk. So I'm going to put uh, uh, the VMware Horizon on that. So I have a fresh environment. I have just installed ESXi 8. Uh, in fact, the, I downloaded the 60 day evaluation version from VMware, uh, vSphere 8. SXI 8 and vCenter server appliance. So I have already installed that. And um, I'm not going to show that installation here, uh, but if you want to learn that, then you can do that by watching the other videos in my channel. And um, by the way, if you're not subscribed to my, my channel, please do that. Um, and okay, without much, talk and let's jump into it and um, see how to install VMware Horizon on a vSphere environment. Of course, I just wanted to tell that VMware, VMware Horizon can be installed 
across the cloud also it can be installed in fact there are solutions uh, available on azure vmware horizon on azure vmware horizon on aws and gcp as well so if you have your uh, home network if you want to try that this in your home this video will help you to deploy vmware horizon 8 um, in your environment in your home environment um, but um, i'll uh, just walk you through that what is what are the requirements in my next video and if you have time just uh, feel free to browse my channel and uh, get to the next video where i am explaining the step-by-step -step procedure to start installing vmware horizon 8 in your vSphere environment let's go ahead and um, again don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you i see you in my next video bye